On this super quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up the Alessis Q-Mini in Ableton. Let's get right into it. So first off, I'm going to hook up the cord to here, right on the side. Starting off with the basics, I know. Right, make sure this is fully plugged in. How come it always takes three times to do that? Anyway, take this. I'm going to plug it into the USB port on my computer. And the first thing I want to make sure is that the lights are on. That way at least I know it's connected, it's powered, it's ready to go. Now it's time to go to the computer. I'm on Ableton right now, so let's set this up. First thing, I'm gonna go to Live and then Preferences, then Link, Tempo, and MIDI. Go down here to MIDI Ports. You can see the end of the Q Mini right here. I wanna make sure this right here is checked. Ableton is pretty good about automatically setting up MIDI controllers pretty fast, but in case it looks like this, Make sure this right here is checked under track for the input of Q-Mini. I'm gonna close this out. Now when I play it, you're gonna notice in the upper right hand corner, you can see this moving. That way you know Ableton's getting the signal from the Q-Mini. Next thing, pull up any VST, any instrument, whatever. And when I pull this up, another thing you're gonna notice if I play it, right? If I go up and play it, well nothing's happening. Make sure this icon right here is checked and it's turned red. I don't know why, but Ableton makes you do this for anything. You can only pick one at a time. So if I go here, I'm not gonna hear anything. I can see it, right? It's getting some signal, but I'm not hearing anything. Go back to here, make sure this is red. And now when I play it, good to go. 